Hi, I'm Piper with Simply Piper's Salon. Today we're going to talk about the skin. It's important to understand exactly what the skin is and how it works to protect you and how it ages. Your skin is the one organ that is blazing enough to appear in public. It is the largest organ of your body, encompassing 20 square feet, if it were to be laid out like a carpet, weighing seven to nine pounds. Good news, ladies, you can take that off the scale when you go to weigh yourself. Skin is the most flexible organ, even more so than the heart. It is also the most versatile, performing numerous functions. The average person sheds, and you'll love this, 40 pounds of skin a year. The miracle of the skin is that it is constantly renewing and replenishing itself. Imagine that your skin is a huge, waterproof, leak-proof, but permeable, super stretchable sack that helps keep your insides in and the environment and germs out. Skin is your own personal all-weather gear. It is all that comes between you and the outside world. Let's learn how to protect it. The skin is a barometer to your emotions, personality, hormones, diet, and general health. Your facial skin is the most tender and vulnerable. It is the mirror to how well you have cared for yourself. Unless you've had plastic surgery or laser resurfacing, your skin will not hide the careless disregard for your own best interest. If you smoke, take drugs, drink excessive amounts of alcohol, or expose yourself unprotected to the sunshine, your skin will never lie. Skin varies in thickness being the thinnest at the eyelids and thickest on the palms and soles of your feet. Sometimes 10 times as thick as the skin on your eyelids, especially if you like to walk around outside without any shoes. A healthy body produces skin that has a soft texture that is flexible and slightly moist. There are seven layers to the skin the deeper layers contain nerve cells, sweat and oil glands, blood vessels, hair, and small muscles that are attached to your hair follicles. The average square inch of skin holds, this is fantastic information, you'll love this. This is one square inch, 65 hairs, 650 sweat glands, 95 to 100 sebaceous glands, 20 blood vessels, 60,000 melocytes, 1,300 nerve endings that record pain, 78 yards of nerves, 9,500,000 cells. The most important thing I want to talk to you uh, as well is the pH balance of the skin. The skin is covered in a um, what's called a, a moisture. The skin is covered in a protective moisture barrier called the acid mantle. Now, a lot of products on the market. Uh, once they're applied to your skin, can upset that natural balance. It's very delicate. So when you're looking for products, you want to make sure that they are pH balanced. What does that mean? Uh, pH balance scale is from 0 to 14. Hair and skin are the same at 4.5 to 5.5. Now, neutral is 7. And what we're looking for is a pH balance that is in the acid scale. That's at zero to seven. That's where that hair and skin come in to play. The eyes are at a neutral seven. The arterial blood fresh out of the heart is 7.34 to 7.45. And that's different. Uh, what, our internal pH is more alkaline, but our outside pH is acid. And knowing that information, it's going to help you provide yourself with uh, products that won't disrupt this acid mantle. Now, why is this so important? Once the acid mantle has been disrupted, 
it causes lots of problems. Some can occur in what looks like hives or rash or really excessively dry skin. Um, and what that does over time is causes itchy, flaky, cracking, and even breakouts. If the alkaline uh, level of the exterior of your body is too high. 